hello everyone you are welcome to my channel this is lucy emandua tv yes guys the first process you need to do while cooking your afan soup yes so what you need to do go to the market buy your afan come back house and pluck it one after the other and after you finish plucking your afan soup you also need to wash the leaf and dry it on the sun it's very important to wash your afang leaf and dry it because you don't know where the leaf is coming out from you don't know where they pluck it and you don't know what is inside the leaf guys so you it's important for you to wash your afang leaf and now if you don't know how to slice this leaf after you wash it and dry it you can also take it back to the market they will help you and slice it okay but i love slicing my afang by myself so guys now we are done plucking our afang can you guys see this is the afang leaf we have done broken it and here is the trash this is what we are throwing away can you guys see see yes guys so now how do you guys see this afang it look neat but you know it's very important to wash your afang leaf so i'm going to show you guys when i'm washing this afang you see what come out so this is the first process you need to do before cooking thinking of cooking afang a lot of people buy afang in the market and slice it in the market blend it in the market i don't think it's the right thing to do yes i think buy your afang come back home take your time wash the afang dry it and you can also take it to the market for you to slice it that is if you don't know how to slice the afang you can come back wash it and clean it off before taking it to the market to slice it back but if you know how to slice it after the afang dry you slice it and start cooking your food so guys let's go to the place let's go and wash this afang leaf now before then let's put this in the trash And here, guys, here is the empty. So, guys, this is time to wash the afang. Here is my empty bowl. Can you guys see? And here is the afang. So, you can see how clean this water is. And then see what will come out after washing this afar. So how to wash your afar? You can just So guys, So guys, can you guys see how dirty this water is? And some people will go to the market and slice up and like this and cook. Do you see how dirty this water is? Is it the reason why it's important for you to bring your afan home? Uh, pluck it, wash it before taking it back to slice or you slice it by yourself. See how dirty this water is. So we are only going to wash this afan for three times and I will show you guys the third time water how he look like. If it's still dirty, we are going to wash it again. If it's okay, that means we are going to leave it like this. 
So guys, this is the third time that we wash. How do you guys think about this afar now? Is it meat or is it still dirty? Tell me in the comment section. Is it meat or is it dirty? So guys, after we finish washing our fan, and this is how it looks, I know a lot of people will be like, what is Umbrella doing here? Yes, guys. Yes, everyone. Umbrella is going to do his own work on this afang. Yes, guys. So this is Umbrella. I have an Umbrella here. First thing, you are going to open your Umbrella. You are going to, if you have an Umbrella, you are going to open your Umbrella exactly the way I open mine. Can you guys see? This is the inside of the umbrella. And you are surprised what umbrella is doing here. Yes, this is what I'm going to do with this umbrella. Can you guys see? This is my fang that we wash. And I'm just putting it in inside this umbrella. So if you don't have an umbrella, you can use a shifter that is that you can drain out the water, you know. The reason why I put in umbrella, number one, it will dry fast. It will dry fast. Number two, it will not, the if the breeze comes, this afang will not be able to spray. If you spray it, if you put it on the tray, you will come back and meet your afang all, all over the ground on the floor. So, but putting it here is where well safe. So, if you don't have an umbrella, you can use a shifter that have that can drain out the water. So guys, this is the end of this video. This is the reason why you need to wash your afang before you cook it, okay? So when I'm cooking this afang tomorrow, I'm going to show you guys how to cook the afang soup. But for now, this is how to clean up your afang for you to enjoy the afang that you eat, okay? This is how to do it. So for now, bye-bye. See you guys on my next video. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, share, and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified anytime I'm ready to cook this afang, okay? I, although I'm supposed to cook this afang today, but today is a busy day for me. I don't have a time, but I'm going to cook it tomorrow in my house. So stay still and keep watching my video, okay? Love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah.